Good morning, awesome friends. It's a grey day here in the garden route. And today I'm going to show you a technique using embossed sheets of 70 micron metal tape. And I hope you're going to enjoy it with me. <coughs> so the first card that I prepared is this little one. And I'm going to explain it a little bit later. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you what you can do to prepare for the second one. So often we lose our mojo. And when I have those I have no mojo days, I do really boring and menial things. Like uh, colouring my 70 micron metal tape with alcohol inks. You can use your waist, just colour them with alcohol ink. I prefer to colour before I emboss, but you can obviously colour after you have embossed. So you can refer to previous tutorials on how to colour your alcohol ink metal tape or your metal tape with alcohol ink. Can't speak this morning. So after you've coloured your tape, you're going to run it through your embossing machine with an embossing folder and you can go and look on YouTube. There are so many tutorials on embossing folders and using your Big Shot or your Go Cut or your Cree Cut or whatever you've got. This is one of my favorites. I'm sure you've seen it appear in previous tutorials, um, the Paisley. And as I say, I've already prepared this card for you. This is plain embossed metal tape with no color. And then I've inked it with my fat black Sharpie, buffed it off and gave it a little wipe. Now, I want to show you a lovely trick. Using ordinary acrylic, I'm going to use copper and gold today but whatever colors you've got you can use and, uh, i don't know why this one's a little bit blocked oopsie daisy there it comes out i am going to dry brush using a very old craft kids craft paintbrush and the best way to dry brush is let me just show you Use a piece of scrap paper, wipe off the excess, and then you brush it on. And the reason why you dab it is so that you don't have blobs of paint. You just want it to stick on the raised areas. Okay, and then let's try a touch of gold. And depending on the colors you use, um, you can just play around and see which are your favorite colors. We'll obviously give you a different technique, but I kind of like the copper and the gold because it kind of gives an aged look. And I want to also show you, because I did this deliberately, with the gold, I didn't brush it off a lot. And now you can see the thick brush strokes because I didn't wipe it off enough. So keep that in mind. And because I'm a bit pedantic, I don't like that look, I'm going to wipe this off. You can do this while it's still wet. And I'm going to do it again because I like to have things neat. But obviously you don't have to. So just play around until you get the hang of dry brushing. You can also use your finger, which gives you better control. So if you're a bit nervous about dry brushing, then use your finger. And here's our, our gold is very wet, our gold acrylic. I prefer that because you don't see the brush strokes. But yeah, play around and see what you like. Much better. Don't you think? Maybe a little touch more of the copper. Now, the other thing you can use if you don't have acrylic are all these fancy waxes that you get, you know, for your other projects. Waxes work really well. So, you know, give those a try and just experiment with different mediums and find what you like. And if you're trying something new, please share it with us so we can also learn from you. 
So I love the, the aged look on that card. It's very subtle and a bit pretty. So we've done that one with the brush. Now I'm going to try this one. I haven't put it onto a card yet, but I'm and I haven't inked it either with black with black marker. But let's see what comes up here. And I must admit, I still prefer the black marker because it kind of looks insipid. And I'll show you now without. It's as if the gold paint doesn't show so well. And I'll put a little bit of this. I just want you to see the the difference. Okay. With the black marker, without the black marker. Makes a heck of a difference. So again, don't like this. Wipe it off while it's still wet. Color with our black sharpie. The black Sharpie, honestly, is the, a winner for me. It gives your project depth. Obviously, you can use black acrylic as well, but don't forget the black. Okay. I'm just going to let that dry a minute. In the meantime, here I have my alcohol, red alcohol ink. I used red and pink. On my 70 micron tab and I put it through the embossing machine and I have this lovely pattern and now to stick it on an ATC. I don't want to waste it because I can use, oh, pardon me, I can use the other piece for another project. I'm very mindful. So while you girls and guys are all busy having fun, I'm preparing for a ladies tea for 300 ladies and it's on the 3rd of June and we will be making 300 metal tape bookmarks as gifting so I'm a bit busy behind the scenes okay placing our ATC directly on the card and because we're working with the 70 micron tape it is easier to cut it than to, with scissors, than to use a craft knife. I find the craft knife hooks on the embossed areas. So I prefer to use a pair of scissors to trim the edges. Here we go. And I honestly cleaned my scissors before I started and I've cut two cards and they are so glued up. Okay. Look at that. So metal tape is very sticky. Okie dokie. So we've done that. I do not want to flatten this, but I do want it to stick well. So just very gently with your credit card. you can smooth the edge there so that it's not all hooky and I can see there's a piece that I missed here. Please excuse me one sec. I want to grab my other scissors and they're on the other side of the table. There you go. My little scissors are always good. Okay, so there we've got our embossed piece and I'm going to buff it using my nail buff completely horizontal to the tape. And it really makes the design pop. Look at that. Completely different look once you've buffed it. So yeah, you know, pull out that embossing machine of yours and give this a try. Okay, so now we've finished. This is dry. I'm also going to emboss the ink off, the black sharpie. I'm 
want to put my lapier. I have to tell you something funny. So obviously I'm in South Africa and most people in South Africa are bilingual. We generally know Afrikaans and English, although um, a lot of the people are also trilingual because they have an African language like Kosa or Zulu that they speak. So yeah, we're a multilingual um, country. But the other day I was telling my son, who is now 23, <coughs> that it's appalling that he doesn't know Afrikaans. I mean, he did it at school, but his Afrikaans is shocking. So he actually said to me, Mom, just give me a break. You know, I've just finished my, my, my computer science degree and I can actually speak quite a few languages. I have all these computer languages like Java and he rattled them off and I had to laugh. I thought, okay, well, I guess he's multilingual in computer languages. So I just thought I'd share that with you because it's quite funny. Okay. And for the South African um, friends, I do sell these embossed sheets. So if you're interested, you know, just drop me a message. Um, I have about 40 or 50 designs, can't remember offhand. So if you're looking for something for a project, let me know. So we've now once again um, inked it and I'm going to use my card again. And with the finger, we are going to add a little bit of acrylic or wax it just gives this lovely aged look to your project I must admit I am so fond of this copper the copper for me is just gorgeous and yes the finger you have a little bit more control Remember, there's no right or wrong in art. Do what you love. And who cares what other people think as long as you like it. I think I want a touch more gold. Oh. Sorry, I don't know why this nozzle is blocked of the gold. Definitely much more interest with that little bit of black Sharpie. I'll put a bit too much on there. Just play time, getting messy, getting back to basics, feeling grounded. You know, when you feel frustrated and anxious, the best thing to do is actually walk outside on the grass. And the second best thing to do is play with paint by doing some finger painting. I like that. What do you think? So cool. And remember, if you don't like it, while the paint's wet, you can wipe it off and start again. So I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy I'm under a little bit of pressure to do tutorials at the moment so have to keep them short and sweet um, please don't forget to share what you've made and have an awesome day join our Facebook group called taper tag and share what you've made